habitat. Oh, get a pair of glasses. What, are you blind? That's our coach, Mrs Wilton. She really gets worked up about our netball team. It's scary. This is your final warning. One more outburst like that and I'll have you banned from coaching for the rest of the season. <laughs> This is so good. One minute to go and the scores are tied. One more goal and they'll be in the grand final. Come on, Kate! Contact! Goal attack! Oh, come off it. That wasn't contact. Did you see that, Mrs Wilk? No, Chris. Don't get us started again. Whose side are you on, Up? I mean, what sort of a decision was that? Aren't you watching the game? Right! <laughs> Nice gone, King. Your brother got coach thrown out. Look, I only said there wasn't any contact. That's not the point. You know what Mrs. Wilson's like. Anything sets her off. Well, at least you won. Yeah, but now we don't have a coach for the grand final. She's suspended for the rest of the season. This is all your fault. I don't exactly think you're flavour of the month, Chris. I've never seen anyone so down about winning. Well, I thought it was jolly entertaining. I'm quite looking forward to the grand final. Oh, Mummy, come see Someone called Mel from England? Oh, Melanie Main Wilson, my simply best ever chum. Mel, how smashingly super to hear from you. What's that? You're on holidays. Where? Australia? Honestly, I don't see why you're so downcast. You're about to see your best friend. What could be more wonderful? Yes, but it's Melanie Main Wilson, Mummy. Your point being? Well, she's arriving tomorrow to stay here. Oh, yes, I see the problem. She thinks we're, you know, rich, but actually we're... You know, not. I'm afraid you'll just have to tell her the truth. What? But, Mummy? No buts. <coughs> I know it sounds old fashioned, but I'm afraid in this case, honesty is the best policy. <coughs> Can I come in? I think you already are. Look, Kate, I'm, I'm really sorry about what happened at the match today. Forget it, it's done now. I have to finish this homework. I've been thinking about finding a replacement for your coach. What about it? Well, I could do it. What? But you don't play netball. No, no, but I played basketball at university. It's not that different. I could just do some reading. I don't know. Well, who else is going to do it at such short notice? It's my fault you're in this situation. The least I can do is help. I know I'm going to regret this. OK. It's fine by me, but you'll have to ask the principal. Great. I'll call the school tomorrow. <laughs> we hear your brother's coaching us now. Um, yeah, is that a problem? Since when do guys play netball? Uh, he used to play basketball at university. Look, all you gotta do is one thing. Make sure he knows who's goal shooter in this team. Meaning me. If Sophia gets one more goal, she breaks the record. That means she could get state selection. State selection? You're joking. No, we're not. We don't joke. It shouldn't be a problem, should it? It's only one goal. Let your brother know or else. Or else what? Or else maybe we need a new coach and you'll need a new brother. This doesn't sound good. I'd better give Chris some coaching about how to coach. Mel! <laughs> how absolutely wicked to see you again. When Mummy and Daddy said we were going to Australia, I said I just had to drop in on Jem and catch up in all the goss. <laughs> So brilliant to see you again. Wallaby Park, is this the big cattle ranch where you live? Think, Gemma, think. I need a story to explain why we're here. Here? <laughs> oh, no, of course not. We're just simply staying here... temporarily. Really? Why? Why? Uh, um... Well, I'll, I'll tell you all about it later. It's all rather... Complicated. Oh. <sighs> so far, so good. She doesn't suspect a thing. All I need to do now is keep it that way. Melanie! How delightful to see you again. 
Hello, Mrs King. I must say, this is quite a change from your old London house. It's small, but we're getting used to it. One must always make the best of a situation. Can I fetch you a cold drink? Lovely, thank you. What situation, Gemma? What is going on? You simply must tell me. Our situation? Yes. Well, it's, um... extremely difficult to talk about. Almost... impossible, really. Now, remember what I said about Sophia? Yes, yes. She's our best player. And don't get upset if the girls are a bit rowdy. Rowdy? They often muck up a bit, so don't take it personally. Chris is so meek and mild. I'm just worried they'll ignore him completely. Don't worry. I've got my handy book of netball hints and my trusty whistle. Whistle? Gather round on the double! Go, go, go! <laughs> well, come on, what are you deaf or just stupid? Let's go! Did I say something about Chris being meek and mild? It's the grand final on Saturday, and all that matters now is winning. And to win, I'm going to need your total and uncompromising commitment. That's why there's going to be extra training for the next three days before and after school. What three days? Silence! The battle begins... up here. Right, let's start with a bit of conditioning. 20 laps around the court, just to warm up. Go, 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 go! What's going on? I've never seen him like this before. That means you too, King. A team's only as strong as its weakest link. Make that 25 laps, girls. You can all thank King. So why aren't you living on the beautiful big estate you've inherited? It must be something dreadfully serious to make you come here. This is it. Crunch time. I can't put her off any longer. I'm going to have to say something. It is. I knew it. Gems, I'm your best friend. Please, please tell me. The reason we came here... Hi, in... Mel! Hi, Greg. Sorry, can't stay in chat. Gotta go and find Finney. There's another sick wallaby. Bye! Come on, Gems, you were saying? It's, um, because, um... Because of Greg's illness. Greg's sick? That's terrible. We've been to see all the specialists, but none of them can help. That's why Mummy brought Greg here. Why? Uh, to see, uh, Vinny. Uh, I mean, Dr. Arm. Alternative therapies, you know the stuff. He's the best there is. Him? But isn't he just the animal keeper? Oh, that's what he pretends to be. So he can observe Greg without Greg knowing. You mean Greg has no idea what's happening? Not a clue. We hired this whole place just for him. It's costing Mummy fortune, of course, but it's our last hope. Wow, it's amazing. Yes, it is, isn't it? There you go, fella, poor little bloke. He's looking pretty crook. But what's making him sick? Ticks, I reckon. Can ticks affect him badly? Paralysis ticks live off the blood. If they get too many on them, they can die. Do ticks affect humans as well? Yeah, yeah, so you've got to be real careful. If you find any on you, get someone and pull them out straight away. Blood-sucking parasites. This calls for some serious research. It's a symptom of Greg's disease. He has this delusion that he's living on a wildlife park with his cousins. <laughs> Crazy, isn't it? Amazing. But I didn't know you had any cousins. Oh, we don't. They're all actors. We hide them as well to make Greg feel happy. It must be hugely expensive. Money's no object when it comes to Greg. I see Gemma's been cheering you around. Yes, and she's explained everything to me. Marvellous. See, I told you honesty was the best policy. <laughs> I know you don't like to talk about it, but I think you're awfully brave. Oh, thank you. It's really no great hardship. It isn't. Oh, Vinny, have you met my best friend Mel? Welcome to Wallaby Park. Thank you. And how are you feeling, Greg? Fine. Of course you are. Gemma's told me all about your work. Uh, yeah. Blech. Good. Okay, don't hold on to it, Madison. Pass it along. Keep your passes short and sharp. Okay, don't bunch up. Spread it out, girls. Come on. Nice pass, Pen. Okay, Sophia, take your time. Nice shooting, Tex. <laughs> all right, that's enough training for today, girls. See you all back here tomorrow morning at 0700 hours, and not one second later. Vignardis, King. Over here for a minute. I've been revising our team's strategy. Sophia, Kate tells me you're our star player. Lucky for you, eh, hey, King? So I've decided to move you back to defence. What? The key to a strong attack is an even stronger defence. You can hand your bib to Kate. 
Yeah, but Sophia's the star goal shooter in this team. Not anymore. That's Kate's job now. She'll be our element of surprise. I swear I had nothing to do with this. Yeah, right. And since you're now our star shooter, I've got some extra training for you to do at home. I don't believe this. Right. I want 20 baskets in a row before you come in for dinner. But Chris, Sophia's a much better goal shooter than me. You've got to rethink... than I thought. Statistically, there's a 7.3% probability that one or more humans could be at risk from ticks. It's just like Dick Driver Ace Detective when his expedition party got infected by the East African brain bug. <coughs> I'm beginning close surveillance of subjects. I'm looking for any unusual behaviour which may indicate tick bites. No point in alarming anybody. I'll just make a note of anything out of the ordinary. Mark doing homework. That is seriously unusual. Note to self. Keep an eye on him. I'm pooped. I never want to see another netball again. I'm going to lie down. Female subject showing signs of exhaustion. Another classic tick symptom. Kate, I've made you a protein shake. Kate, it's got banana and wheat germ in it. Kate? Hey, wait up, Kate! Older male exhibiting strange behaviour about food. This could be an epidemic. Come on, Greg, or we'll miss the boss. What about Kate? Kate's at netball practice, remember? It's amazing. They even go to school with you. Well, yes, they have to behave like totally normal people. It was jolly nice of your mother to give these two days of school. What shall we do? Anything that keeps her away from here. She can't find out the truth. Maybe spend some time with Dr. Ron. I'd love to hear more about his research. Absolutely not. It's very hush hush. And anyway, he hates people watching him. Oh. I tell you what, I've got an even better idea. Why don't we. Why don't we, uh. go to the beach? But I thought you hated the beach. Oh, I only hate the beaches in England. Wait till you see an Australian beach. You'll love it. What am I going to do about Chris? His training is driving me crazy. Don't worry. It's only a couple more days to the final. Yeah, and then the Vigs are going to kill me. Yeah, true. But at least the rest of the team like you. I just remembered I had to, um, get something from the library. You've been a very bad girl, Kiki. The team and I aren't happy with you. Not, Not happy, Kiki. Kiki. First, your brother moved Sophia from goal shooter. Now we're all training so hard we all got blisters. I'm worse than dead meat. This is a full-scale mutiny. This is your last chance, Kingy. You better do something about it, or you'll be eating lunch alone for the next six years. Got it? Looks like I have no choice. It's either Chris or me. See? I told you. Isn't it spectacular? And look at all this sand. We don't have sand like this back home. Gemma, this is boring. Let's go back to the park. We can't. <laughs> Why not? Because... Well, Dr Arn is uh, busy organising Greg's treatment and he can't be Let's go shopping. You're so rich now, you must have heaps of spare cash to spend. I can't go shopping. I barely got enough money for the bus fare. Oh, that's such a waste of time. You can shop all you like when you go back home to England. I know something much more fun. Let's go and have a look at the other end of the beach. And he's making us train before school and after school. And the poor girls are so tired, they can barely do their homework. I see. Well, perhaps it's time I stepped in. I hate to do this to Chris, but it's my survival at stake here. Some very disturbing matters have been brought to my attention. See? I told you I'd fix it. It appears some girls are concerned about Chris's training method. Well, I have just one thing to say. Chris has my complete support. What? This is Deep Creek's first grand final in 16 years. And by golly, we're going to give it a shake. And if that means extra training, so be it. This can't be happening. Go for it, Chris. Let's bring home that trophy. Nice going, King. Now you're double dead. Rightio, now you heard the man. Now let's get going on that cross-country run. Go, 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 go! <laughs> Mum, you have to look at this. 
Ah, what is it this time, Gregory? Some new anti-gravity device you've invented? An unmeltable ice cream, perhaps? Much more important. I've analysed the data on the potential human tick infestation. Charming. I've got to go and tell Vinny straight away. Mummy, we're back. How's the beach? Oh, same as yesterday and the day before. Marvellous. Don't forget we've got Kate's netball final this afternoon. We'll take you straight from there to the train station. It's been so good to see you all again. I must say, Greg seems to be looking really well. I wish I could say the same about his brain. Really? Honestly, I just don't know where he gets it from. It must be his father. Don't torture yourself, Mrs King. There's always hope. Clearly you don't know Greg. Gemma, be a dear and fetch the rest of the grocery from the car. What do you think of my research findings? They're a bit inconclusive. Uh... But keep at it, though, mate. You never know what you might find. In the meantime, go and fetch a shovel for us, will you, mate? Right you are. <laughs> Hi, Greg. How are you feeling? Great, thanks. Good for you. Is Doctor... I mean, is Vinny around anywhere? He's over there with Chris. Right, thanks. I'm a bit worried about that small wallaby we saw earlier. He was looking very sick. We've got no choice. We're going to have to put him down. You really think so? His brain's become infected. Once that happens, there's no hope for him. Yeah, such a shame. He seems like such a nice little fella. Yeah, I've tried everything, mate, but he's so sick now, there's no way out of it. We can't let him suffer anymore. We're going to have to put him out of his misery. something they're going to kill him kill who greg greg why would anyone want to kill greg okay it can be a bit annoying sometimes dr arlen this chris guy i heard them planning it it's horrible we've got to do something <laughs> one shovel as requested thanks mate stop what do you think you're doing i'm digging a hole to dispose of the body no doubt you cold heartless brute do you think you call yourself a doctor i do there's no way i'm going to let you carry your ruthless scheme get away from this <laughs> monster what was all that about Oh, well, I, uh, I didn't explain before, but uh, Mel's a bit, uh... Runs in the family, I'm afraid. Uh, totally loopy. I'll just go make sure she takes some medication. <coughs> Mel? What are you doing? What's going on? Quick, break up to the house. I'll explain a bit later. Back to Arne is a monster. We have to get your mum to call the police. We can't. Why not? Um... Quick, Brain, make this really good. Um... Because the police already know. They know? Chris isn't an actor. He's an undercover policeman. It's all part of the sting operation, to get evidence on Dr. Arne. They're going to arrest him when we're all at the netball match. I'm so sorry, Jim. I had no idea. <sighs> Neither did I until now. Thank goodness there's only a couple more hours of this to go. OK, girls, so, uh... You know the game plan? It's, um... It's, uh... You you get you get the ball and, and and don't let them get get the ball and um and stay cool stay focused and uh let's let's come on. What's wrong with your brother? It's me. Are you all right, Chris. You look terrible. Oh yeah yeah I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> Just feeling a little bit woozy. Extreme tick alerts. Older male showing signs of fever and disorientation. And can you stop that? I suppose I'd be arresting him about now. Who? Dr. Elm. Oh, right, yes. Probably handcuffing him as we speak. One goal down. What's the plan? Plan? What plan? What do we need a plan for? Chris? Oh, my goodness. Are you all right? What's happened to him? No idea. I've been watching the patient. It's a tick for sure. You're right, son. Goodness me, it's a beauty, too. Right, let's get it out. I knew it. So, what are we going to do for a coach now? Coach? We don't need a coach. After all the training we've done, we can do it on our own. Yeah, but we need a plan. Simple. I'll go back into defence and Sophia can become goal shooter. Good plan. I can go with that. Is this a real illness or is it part of the plan to catch Dr. Ron too? Um, actually, I think he could be a victim of Dr. Ron's. How awful! <laughs> 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 
Now all I have to do is make sure Sophia scores a goal. Vignati doesn't appear to be scoring much. He doesn't need to score much, just one, for Kate's sake. <laughs> Ten seconds to go. I can't believe my whole life depends on Sophia getting this shot. <laughs> That's it, I'm dead. Don't worry, girls. We'll get them next year. Well done, girls. You gave it your best shot. Clearly, though, the strain's been too much for Chris. So I've decided to reappoint Mrs. Wilton as soon as her suspension's lifted. <laughs> Maria, Sophia, I can explain. No need. Nice one, King. Nice one? Putting a tick on your brother to get Sophia back as goal shooter, that's a real team play. You think I put a tick on Chris? What the heck? Why argue? Thanks. I knew you'd like it. It's not your fault Sophia had an off day. Still, there's always next year. Exactly. And with you as her personal goal shooter coach, she's sure to break the record next year. Me? Her coach? It would be an honour. You know how I said the family's here on holiday? That's not completely true. Daddy's actually here looking for a job. You mean, he's out of work. And unless he finds work soon, I'm afraid we're going to be... poor? Yes. Oh, Mel! How terrible. I feel so sorry for you. I don't believe it. Mel, my best friend, she lied to me. How could she? I'm so sorry for telling you the whole truth, Jimsy. Will you forgive me? Of course I will, Mel. But you must remember, between friends, Honesty is always the best policy. Blah. 